Welcome to Give Me Apps, the App Mall, the only app store giving developers the full 100% of their download sales. Give Me Apps, apps for every smartphone, tablet, and device. Today's app is Ghost Cam. Ghost Cam is by a development company by the name of Viet Baboon, and this app is for Android phones. We downloaded this from our store, and if you take a look, this is the start screen. Uh, you have an option right away to take pictures or work on pictures that you already have stored on your phone. Now, the main purpose for this app is for one reason. To take any picture and make it gruesome looking, nasty looking, ugly, and horrific. Okay? So, uh, just because I don't want to go through my own pictures, we're going to work on a picture that I downloaded from the web of Daffy Duck. Don't laugh. Don't judge. You get that background music there, which is cool. Makes you think it's Halloween, and right now it's um, July 16th is when I'm reviewing this. So um, any day could be Halloween, I guess, right? All right. I'm going to let the music play out in the background so you can hear this, because I think it's really cool. Alright, here's your working screen, alright? We're going to take this already nasty looking picture of Daffy Duck. Now, if you're watching this review, uh, and you're a lawyer, and you work for Warner Brothers, I don't want to hear anything, okay? Fair use. The music is still going on. All right, let's take a look at the screen, shall we? Let's dig in. All right, you can work with ghosts. You can put ghostly images on your image if you like. Uh, that would probably work better with a uh, T-shirt or, um, you know, like an article of clothing or maybe a blank screen or something if you want to make your own um, picture full of ghosts. Then you have this over here. That's for blood splats. You can put blood splats all over your image if you like, and there are different kinds. And here we have um, ugly-looking eyes. So, let's start off with the eyes. The music is still going on in the background, by the way, which is still cool. Alright. When you, um, get the... When you press the eye, you get this, uh, group of eyes here. And don't be fooled. This is not all you have. You have more if you scroll over. Take a look at that. Okay? So, uh, we're gonna select, uh... Let's select the, uh, what looks like the a cat eye. Let's select the cat eyes. Alright? If you look at the top of the screen... You see a small, tiny eye up there. You're going to have to drag it over. Or uh, you can zoom in to make it larger. Look at that. We're going to bring it in. And take a look at Daffy Duck's eye now. There it is. Look at that. Now, what's cool is you can uh, you have the opacity control here, the parameter, which can make it blend into the picture more. If you've ever used Photoshop, you know what um, opacity does. And um, when you're comfortable with where it is, you commit to it by pressing the check symbol. There we go. Let's get another eye. Let's pick this one here. And we're going to zoom in to make that larger, like I did before. And boom! There's a nasty looking Daffy Duck. And now that we have that there, let's um, mess with the opacity parameter. And now let's commit to that. Alright, now that that's done, um, let's dress it up even more. Let's add some blood splats. And if you look, once again, you have a, a group of blood splats. I'm using the uh, Samsung Galaxy S3. I just got this one. I love it. It's brand new. It's up to date. And, um, of course, this being 2012, if you have this phone, uh, you're in the top ranks. If this is 2013, then not so much. Okay. There's our blood splat. Like the eyes before it, we're going to zoom in on that. And let's bring that down and put it on its beak. Ah, look at that. Looks like he got stabbed. Let's do another one. We'll commit to that. All right. I'm going to choose the larger ones just because it makes more of a statement. Let's get that one over there. Bring it down and... Ah, look at that. And that's not, as, that's not even as large as it can get. We have to zoom in. Ooh, look at that. Disgusting. Right? Okay. So we have that. We're going to commit to that. And uh, I'm going to show you some of the ghost pictures. Just because you can add like all of these images. Um, maybe we can make it look like one of these ghosts are behind them in this picture. And like any other image, you need to zoom in. Zooming in will give you better control because it's all over the screen. See, look at that. You have this ghost hanging out in his beak. We can uh, make it a bit opaque. Look at that. Cool beans, right? Um, once you commit to that, Changing anything, moving the images around the screen is as simple as, um, you know, pressing that image and, and dragging it around. So, and of course, you can delete whatever you want by pressing the garbage can. And this is pretty much it. Cool app. It's 199 
Um, I'd rate it three and a half out of five. I'll tell you why. Um, some improvements. It would be nice if um, these were labeled. If you have no idea what this app is, um, it's hard to figure out like kind of what it does. I mean, sure, you can press the buttons and figure it out from there, but it would be nice if it was labeled. Um, also, it would be nice if we had scroll bars here, right? A scroll bar or arrow, so the user knows that there are more of each image. That would be helpful. Other than that, it's a cool app. You're not going to open garage doors with this app. You're not going to turn on your microwave with this app. This is simply fun. Okay? So, there you have it. Give me apps. Not only can you download apps, but you can also chat in our online forums and search jobs and check out the latest news in our tech blog. Till next time.